Hello LT Gamers, welcome back to the channel and today we are back with another Bannerlord video and we are looking at the Forbury mod. Now what is the Forbury mod? So here we have our character Aran and he's hiding a little bit of a dark secret. He is not your typical Bannerlord. He is in fact aligned with the bandits and this is what the Forbury mod allows you to do. I believe the word translates to something similar to cunning in French. And this is what this mod is all about. It is about playing the more nefarious side of Bannerlord and being aligned with bandits and using banditry and raiding and all sorts of shenanigans to further your calls. So let's have a quick look at what we can do within this mod. So... One of the cornerstones of the mod is finding hideouts, and this gives you access to a Forbury menu here, where you can start to try and strengthen different factions of the bandits. So we have the step bandits here, for example. And when I have prisoners, I can give them away, and it's going to increase the strength of the bandits. And I can also give them items to do the same. So you can see I've got a lot of loot on me here, and so I'll give away just some random stuff I have in my inventory and it increases my criminal rating but it also increases the strength of the step bandits and so then if I leave I can go back to the safe house you I think you it is a thousand strength you need to build a safe house within an, a faction or a hideout and I can go to manage and we can see here that I have my unit of bandits here that I've been uh, slowly building up and I have my enforcer on this side who is kind of building my ability to scheme and so scheming is where you can start to plan assassinations you can plan revolutions all sorts of different things um, so the depth of this mod is quite considerable when you take these features alone but there is a whole host of other things. So let's head to a town. Now, I'm a wanted man in these lands, so I shall have to be somewhat covert under a Sturgeon banner, but I should be able to defeat any army that pops out. So I am obviously not, uh, not welcome here, but I have some friends who can get me inside. And we can also see a Forbury menu available here. Now, in the beginning, you have scam and larceny in the bigger cities. And in just in villages, you just have the scam option. So scam is what you start with and you run this. It takes a little time and you either fail like I did just there or succeed and get a bit of gold for your efforts in villages. I think you also get a bit of food. So I failed. So that increased my um, criminal rating and I would have to wait uh, 48 hours to run that again. Larceny My heart is, glad to see you. is kind of your bread and butter to build your relations with the different criminal factions. And you say you want to prove your skills and you have all these options here to kind of run different jobs from getting in a fist fight to, you know, stealing or killing guards. So I will say, let's go. I don't fear authority. I will run fast and this will then give me the task and if you ever get confused you can always go back here and see what your task was uh, I think if you click larceny yeah so steal and run so okay I go back to the town center and I can take a walk and I need to find some traders to steal from I'm just passing by. There's a horse trader here. Are the traders I can steal from over here? And let's see if I can get away with this. Hello, mate. Grab something and run. All right, I'm legging it. I appear to be fairly safe for now. He's coming after me, but he's miles away. I believe you just have to run through the gates. Oh, dear. This guy's... This guy is going to be a problem. Let's run around him. Hopefully he doesn't hit me with any of those arrows. 
And I got away with it. Rule Silk, and I increased my relation with old Foul Breath. Sounds like a lovely lady. And you get the idea there. I'm getting more and more elaborate robbery, scams, heists, and all sorts. And the rewards increase as you kind of go down uh, toward. I haven't been able to incite Rebellion yet, so that is my goal in this kind of playthrough. I want to cause rebellions all over the lands. And so from here, I can also do simple things like go to the tavern and I can visit. And you can start to pickpocket people as well. Like there, it's got 11 gold, 10, 6. So you can really, and this all improves your roguery skills as well. So you can really get your skills up. And you can earn a pretty good living robbing people, to be honest. Um, scamming and robbing is pretty well paid. And there's all sorts of other things you can do from assassinating troops to uh, plotting against your enemies. But as you do so, you get these criminal ratings and these grudges. And that means people will be sent after you and you will have to kind of fight back and so on. But that is the mod in a nutshell. It is a lot of fun overall. And one more thing I wanted to showcase is that you can also create your own bandit parties from troops that are following you. So this is a really cool option. Um, if you want to start creating troops to kind of disrupt your opponents, when you're particularly with people you're at war with, it's very effective. So yeah, this mod is a lot of fun. Can highly recommend you pick it up. It is on the Steam Workshop, so installation is super easy, and it uh, can't be simpler really. And it will really augment a normal playthrough of Bannerlord without significantly altering kind of you know total conversions anything like this so check it out guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you uh download the mod if you enjoyed the video please make sure to give us a like hit the subscribe button and consider subscribing if you enjoy our content and i'll see you guys on the next one Bye bye now